Hi guys, my name is Michael Stillwell and I own Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona. And today I'm going to talk about the difference between a starter piano and a more advanced piano and kind of the perks and downfalls of each. Um, the reason we're doing this is we just had a customer come in who said they wanted a good starter piano for their kids. Usually what that means when people walk in is I want to spend the least amount of money that I possibly can while still getting a piano for my kids. Um, in those circumstances, you know, we used to be very against digital pianos because we're all piano technicians and it was, you know, kind of the kiss of death for piano technicians. But nowadays, uh, digitals are getting really, really good. And so if you have this budget that's like $700, you know, if you compare a $700 acoustic piano to a $700 digital piano, usually the digital is going to win as far as having working notes and everything. But there's one very important part of uh, getting your kid interested in piano lessons and that's the fact that we all have the ability to hear beauty and to recognize beauty and if you've ever been in our store you've talked to with us about this before this is one thing that we always go back to and what we mean by that is when a kid sits down to play piano if you give them a crappy piano that sounds bad or feels bad they're going to think that they sound bad or they they can't play the piano very well because it's not working properly and they lose interest um, so we've seen it time and time again. This is one of the reasons we don't allow spinets in our store at all is because these families buy these for the kids and then all of a sudden the kid doesn't want to play piano and the parents are going, why don't they want to play? It's because they sound like crap. <laughs> they don't, they're don't. they not inspired by it. They are not. They don't want to create on something that sounds like that because they don't like the end result. So with digital pianos, these kids are able to get in there. They love touching buttons. I have four kids. They love iPads and all that stuff. So they, they like that and it keeps them interested, but eventually they do need to get off of that. That's a good way to get them started, to test the water, to see if they're gonna stick with this, but after that, they need to get out. So what we're gonna um, talk about today is why they need to get out of the digital piano. Um, these action models here, this is an upright action and this is a grand piano action. And I have right here, this is called a digital uh, hybrid piano action. So this is inside of a digital piano. This, um, when you press this key right here, you can see the hammer comes up and instead of hitting a string, it's hitting a sensor. So this is like the closest you're gonna get to feeling a grand piano in a digital piano form. Um, and we do sell quite a bit of these, especially to ASU students who are, um, maybe they're a performance major, but they need to, and they need to practice on a grand piano action, but they live in a dorm. These are about the size of a smaller upright and kind of have the uh, grand piano action in them. But if we look over here, this is where um, we're focusing right now. This is an upright piano action. And as you can see, when you press this key, this hammer is just kind of tilted forward. Um, it's not, you're not going against gravity, you're just kind of tipping it. So this is how this action works. And you can imagine that this action is gonna feel a little bit lighter than say this action in a grand piano where when you press a key, you're going against gravity. The whole thing has to come up. Um, upright pianos have what's called a single escapement action, meaning that this key has to come all the way up after it's been depressed before that jack will reset and you can restrike the note again. In a grand piano action, you do not need to do that. The key only needs to come about halfway up before the jack resets underneath the knuckle and you can reignite that key again. If you want more details on that, um, we're happy to talk about that with you guys and show it to you when you come into the store. But that's kind of the main difference between a grand piano action and an upright piano action. Grand piano action is always going to be faster, but it's always going to be heavier. Um, and an upright piano action is going to feel a lot more substantial, a little bit heavier than a digital piano, but it's not all the way to a grand piano yet. If you guys have any questions about any of this, this is a real brief overview of this topic. Always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com or you can give us a call at 480-207-6645 or as always, you can stop in the store and um, we always love to talk shop. So thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to you soon.